Welcome to Volrath University. I'm Chef Rich, and we're here today to talk about sous vide. We'd like to explain to you what sous vide is, and then we'd like to show you the process all the way from our vacuum pack unit through the process to the presentation. Really, sous vide is a method or technique of cooking. It's precise cooking designed to maintain the integrity of the food. We're not going to overcook it or undercook it with sous vide. It's precise, controlled cooking. It also has some other advantages, one being we place the product in the water bath. We walk away, we can do another task in the kitchen and come back when the product is ready. It also reduces shrinkage and waste, maintains the integrity of the food, and provides that consistent result so that patrons come back to the restaurant each and every time and get the same exact meal. Vacuum packing then is the first step in sous vide. So today we're going to prepare a filet. So we want to take our filet, season it. And by the way, when you're using sous vide, you want to make sure you're using the freshest ingredients possible. Because we're cooking at low temperatures, we always want to make sure our ingredients are as fresh as they can be. We're going to place the product in this, in this case, our Volrath in-chamber vacuum pack machine. For more information on vacuum packaging, please see us at volrathuniversity.com for our other videos on vacuum packaging. So let's vacuum pack our filet. Okay, so now our filet is vacuum packed. It's ready to be placed in the water bath. Sous vide uses a water bath because the water is the most efficient way to transfer the heat. We can illustrate this by thinking of an oven. We can put our hand into a 180 degree oven and hold it in there for quite a long time. But we couldn't put our hand into a 180 degree water bath, we'd burn ourselves because the water is much better at transferring the heat than the air is. Okay, so we've got our filet now in the water bath. Sous vide is an excellent method for cooking all sorts of proteins, seafood, shellfish, um, vegetables, even fruit. It's a wide variety of, of items we can place in sous vide. So let's now talk about the controls of this Valras sous vide circulator. First, on the pump itself, or on the unit itself, on the back, we have a pump speed, a variable pump speed. We have it at the low setting right now just to gently move some of the water around. We could put it on high speed if we wanted to move that water a little bit quicker, but for this, it's perfect at the low speed. On the front of the unit, you'll see three presets. Those are nice to be able to set three distinct temperatures depending on the different recipes. So if you have a staff, you can tell them setting number one is for fish, setting number two is for steaks and so forth. The high speed rotary knob shows on the display here, we're showing current temperature of the water. If we press the knob once, that shows the preset that we want the water to maintain. Also, and I'll clean up with the Volrath unit. As you can see, it's a system. It's a designed piece to fit together, to be on the counter at all times. The pump assembly is separate, so it can come out. But really, for this unit, we have on the end a nice valve, so it's easier to clean. It's, you don't have to pick up a big, heavy bath of water to try to take it to the sink and dump it. At the end of the day, simply go to the valve and empty out the water. OK, so now we're going to leave our, our tenderloins cooked for a little while here. I've actually got going to let these set now for an hour at this 138 degrees. We could also use a cook chill type technique. Let's say we were doing a duck. We could prepare our duck sous vide. We could then put it into a quick chill in an ice bath to chill it down to store and then at service to re-thermalize in the sous vide, place the item in the bath then just to warm it through or heat the product through. So in this case, the filet, we're gonna leave it in there for an hour to cook. Again, we could do something where it was more of a cook chill process so you wouldn't have an hour of cook time for service items. Also with sous vide, the advantages of being able to have a larger window of doneness. These fillets, as I said, about an hour for an inch thick fillet at this temperature, but we really have a little bit more than that because we're not going to ever exceed that temperature. We could leave them in there for longer. So the window of doneness, as I call it, or the area of forgiveness is a lot, lot greater with sous vide versus say on a stovetop where you're relying on the skill of the chef to pull it off that very hot saute pan right when the item's done. It's an excellent method, as I said, for fish and seafood and lobster, as you're gonna get right to that precise temperature that you want, but never overcook it. And again, your window of doneness on delicate items like that is much, much larger. Okay, now our filets have been in for about an hour. Let's go ahead and take a filet out of the sous vide bath. Let's get ready to sear this now to give that nice uh, color that we're all so familiar with. So to do this today, what we're going to do is put a nice carbon steel fry pan in a Volrath induction unit. I love cooking on induction as it's another very precise uh, method of cooking, very fast and efficient. So we're going to use a carbon steel pan to give this a nice browned exterior. Now we could also do this on a charbroiler. I'm going to add a little bit of oil here. If we wanted those nice markings that we get from a charbroiler, we could do this sear on a charbroiler. 
Let's just go ahead and use our saute pan here today. Nice hot pan. Get a nice sear on the exterior of this. Also, searing it helps raise the temperature of it. We're using low temperature cooking, in this case, 138 degrees. Uh, most of us are used to receiving a steak on our plate that's a little bit warmer. So by doing this final sear, we're also going to raise the exterior of the steak temperature just a little bit. We're not going to really change the interior or the core temperature. We're just going to go ahead here and, and brown this up a little bit on the exterior. Okay. So now let's go ahead and just show you the advantages here of the sous vide. As I said, we had this filet in the sous vide water bath for about an hour. We've just seared it. Now let's just to show you the advantages of sous vide. After one hour's time, just look at the interior of that perfectly done medium filet. Okay, so we go ahead now and just plate this up for a nice dinner. And maybe use a little, some vegetables here that we've got prepared. Show you a nice plated sous vide prepared filet. As you can see, the sous vide process offers a system with very high control, a high level of efficiency, and most importantly, a high level of quality time and time again. I'm Chef Rich, and thank you for joining us in Valrath University.